Your Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick continues. Okay, Jerry, time is 646. Joining me right now, Don Summers, voter registrar, Harris County, Jared Woodfill, Harris County Republican chairman. Hey, Don, I assume you can't send out the voter registration cards until you know when it is we're supposed to vote, right? That's correct. And, of course, the uh, controlling factor is when we receive the uh, final maps from the courts uh, so that we can put everyone into the pri- into the right precinct and uh, in the right districts. Have you been getting complaints from people that they haven't received their voter registration cards? Maybe folks that haven't been following the whole uh, debacle that has been going on in Austin? Yes, we've received uh, over 6,000 calls since the 1st of January. Wow. Uh, just on this issue, and that those calls are in addition to the normal call calls about, you know, how to register and uh, uh, what county they're in and that kind of thing. Jared Woodfill, Harris County Republican Chair, joining me. Uh, Jared, let me ask you this. Are you hearing the same thing from Republican voters that are talking to you? They, they don't quite understand what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. There's confusion with respect to, one, uh, you know, what's going on with respect to voter registration, but more importantly, when our primary is going to be. I mean, there's a whole lot of folks that are calling asking when they're going to be able to vote for a particular candidate. And at this point in time, we know that the court's going to reopen the process. So what that means is, is that everybody who says they're running for something right now, that may not be the case because they'll have an opportunity to move races, to get out, or new folks to get in. So a whole lot of things in flux right now and we're ready waiting for these court opinions to come down so we can get some finality don let me ask you this uh, don uh, sumners is the uh, registrar here in harris county is it going to cost us more money more taxpayer dollars because we're going to have to do this at the very last minute and might have to actually change some names like uh, jared suggested uh it's, as far as the uh, t- uh, registrar's office is concerned uh, it probably will have some incremental uh, cost increase, but uh, not significant. We are planning on ha- having some uh, part-time assistance uh, that we would not normally have had to get the uh, maps redrawn in a record time and uh, get uh, things ready to send out to the voter certificates. All right, gentlemen, hang on. When we come back, I want to ask uh, both of your opinions on how this will affect a voter turnout. We'll start with you, Don. Do you think this is going to affect voter turnout, the fact that we don't know when the primary is, and you're going to have to uh, really uh, be very proactive when it comes to getting out voter registration cards at the last minute? Well, uh, I'm going to leave this to Jared's opinion mostly, but I can't help but see that uh, if the uh, presidential uh, race has already been settled by the time that we have our primary, that it that it wouldn't ha- have an influence. I think it will reduce the turnout. Jared, your thoughts? Yeah, yeah I think Don, Don hit the nail on the head. The biggest driver is going to be what's going on in our, our primary. I mean, if, if Texas is still in play in, in late May or – in uh in in june then it will not have an impact because i mean folks are going to be excited about getting out and voting for their candidate and so i think that's going to be the biggest driver is what what's happening on the national scene in harris county and uh, i hope that uh, certainly texas is in play i believe texas is always in play uh, considering the amount of delegates that we have gentlemen i want to thank you both for taking the time this morning don sumner's voter registrar harris county going to be a busy guy here over the course of the next few weeks jared woodfield harris county republican chair gentlemen thank you so much thank you. Uh, we thank appreciate you. that and uh, we'll let you know you will hear it here first on news radio 740 ktrh uh, when we finally know a specific date those of you that are waiting for your voter or registration cards they will be coming as soon as we have have that date looks like right now it should be uh, may 29th